Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Tina with Sponge and Stamp, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to be working with the stamp set Hold On to Hope, and it is in the new 2018 annual catalog. And I wanted to mention that you can get this stamp set in a bundle and save 10%. Cross of Hope Framelits, and I wanted to show you guys these framelits because they are, they're awesome. Whoops, they're upside down. So in, with the framelits, you get the framelit that cuts out the banner, the flourish to cut it out, the little flower right here, the butterfly, the big cross, and then you get some accent pieces here to for this cross and this that overlays or used by itself and then plus you get this little tiny little cross right here that I think is so super cute so I wanted to share that with you guys and again you it's if you buy it in a bundle you save 10% and let's see I'm gonna put this back in the package and put that away so we're gonna be re recreating this card right here, but instead of using Bermuda Bay, I wanna try it in Daffodil Delight. We're gonna be also using from the celebration, a free celebration item is the springtime foils. And you get four different designs and three each of each design. So it's absolutely gorgeous, and I love working with it. It is super thick cards, um, designer series paper. It's like cardstock, and this one is with the copper foil. So is the the floral. Sorry for the hole, but I cut out one of our little flowers that we're going to use in the card today. But the florals, isn't that gorgeous? And it is copper also. And then we have the stripes, which is silver. And then you have this little one with all the little leaves on it and they're silver and gold. And it's absolutely stunning. And you can get that free with a minimum purchase of $50 before tax and shipping. And if you hurry up and get it before March 31st is when celebration ends. So let's see, let's get started here. So I'm using the little flourish here and this sentiment right here that says celebrating one of God's most remarkable creations and I'm, we're gonna make a birthday card with it. So I using um, Daffodil Delight cardstock, I've already pre-cut my stitched shaped framelit and I used the largest circle here and that's what we're gonna stamp our sentiment on. We have a band here that is using the springtime foils, and we're gonna lay that across there. Then we have the floral from the um, springtime foils, and we're gonna use copper embossing powder. We're gonna use our Stampin' Blends Daffodil Delight and Old Olive. So I think that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and do our embossing first. So I'm gonna fold my cardstock in half, and I do not have my bone folder. Not sure what I did with it. That's all right, we'll just use our finger. We're gonna emboss our sentiment on the stitch-shaped circle, and we're gonna emboss straight onto our card base. We're not gonna do any matting other than the layering with our DSP and our circle and our floral. So, move this out of the way, bring in my scrap sheet of paper, put it beside me. So we're gonna take the embossing buddy and we're just gonna rub this over there. And I love using this because it takes off some of the oils from your fingers and, and it just helps um, from your embossing powder to stick where you don't want it to stick. So, there we go, I think that's good and our Versamark here. So I'm gonna ink up our sentiment. We're gonna do that one first. I'm gonna ink it up and get it nice and juicy here. And I'm sorry for the wobble, but um, I'm at our dining room table today. My room is being reconfigured, my stamp studio. 
so I can't get in there right now and all my stuff is everywhere. Okay, make sure I have this the right way. And we're just gonna stamp down. I'm stamping over to the right side so that I have room to put our little floral image on there. And straight down, straight up. And I'm gonna move this. Oh, my finger just slid in there. I hope it's okay. Move that out of the way. And now we're gonna ink up our little floral image here. And we're just gonna start stamping away. We're just gonna randomly place that around our little card base here. Ink this up. So, one of the things that I absolutely love about this stamp set is that I think it's it's almost versatile to any um, occasion, almost. I think that it is mostly awesome for encouragement, um, sympathy, birthdays, and um, also it's. I think it's going to make some really pretty Easter cards as well. Um, I think it's just a great stamp set to have. And I'm trying to figure out where I want to put these flourishes. I think we're going to go up this way with this one, I think. I don't know why I always say think, because I know that's what I want to do. <laughs> Let's see here. Ink this up, and it's kind of hard to see where you stamp, so I've got to really let the light hit it to, to see where I put it. And I think I'm going to put this one right there. I hope I placed that right. Well, I went over a little further down than I wanted to, but it will be okay because our little band will hide a lot of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna come up with this one right there. And I think I'm gonna put one more. I'm just gonna do the top of it. I don't think I ink that very well. I'm gonna put the top of it right about here. It probably would have been easier had I not folded it and just used a piece of scrap paper and put it along the side, but I folded it. So, okay, so now we're gonna bring in the scrap piece of paper here to catch our embossing powder. And my son is riding his dirt bike outside. <laughs> and he's riding right by my window. Okay, here we go. So one of the beauties from working at home, I don't know if it's a beauty or if it's an interruption. <laughs> okay. We may have to go over that. I think that's pretty good actually. I'm gonna put a little more here and just a little bit here and here. And let's see, I think, I think that that is probably gonna be pretty good. I got a piece right there that doesn't want to come off. And I have a spot that did not stamp quite as well as I would have liked for it to. But we'll just go with that. We'll go with that. Okay, so I'm going to carefully pick this up. And I'm just going to slide this under there and wiggle that around. A little flick. I think it's the lotion I put on my hands and where I touch it is um, wanting the powder to stick to it. There we go, I think that's good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pour in 
the extra right into my little jar so that we don't have any waste at all. Close this up. Whoops. Bring our card and our circle. Turn on our heat gun. I'm not really happy with the way that that inked up in that one spot, but we're, we're going to go with it. I can't find any of my tools either, so I'm using old stuff that I've had for years and years and years before I found Stampin' Up. All right, we're going to go with this. that that was lower so that the belly, not belly band, but the, the band would hide that, but it's not going to. We'll just pretend that it doesn't exist. Okay, so, and that really did get on there. Oh, well. Okay, so we are going to put this well, maybe it will. It'll hide most of it, won't it? That's good. Okay, just that one little spot right there where I guess I got lotion on there from my finger. Okay, so we are going to put some multi-liquid glue on here. this over, kind of slide it into place here, make sure that it's straight. Oh, I just put my glasses on and saw I have a couple spots on here. But that's one of the things that is awesome about a handmade card is that you, they don't have to be perfect. Sometimes I think the imperfections is what makes them so pretty. Okay. So all I did was I just took my paper snips and just trimmed that off instead of just cutting it at four and a quarter because sometimes you get your measurements off just a tiny bit. Okay, so now I'm going to use our dimensionals and I'm just going to place them around the back of our circle here like that I think I want another one on there just to kind of hold it a little nicer okay but before we attach that I'm going to color in our little flower here and I'm going to use um, Daffodil Delight in Old Olive and I'm going to start with the lighter shade first and because this is an alcohol marker I just want to work with just like a couple of petals at a time because it dries super super fast. Okay and actually I'm, no I just lost the cap. I'm just gonna work with this one petal. So I'm just gonna try to shade it where I think that it would naturally be shaded. And I'm gonna come in with our light and just do circle, circular motion here and here. And I think that that looks pretty good. Okay, so I need my cap. 
because they do dry. Here it is. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put this cap back on. And I feel like a fish out of water because I'm not in my normal on my workbench. And it throws me for a loop. <laughs> I'm one of those creatures of habit. So you get used to something a certain way. And then when it gets changed up on you, it's like it doesn't work very well for me sometimes. Okay. So then I'm just going to shade into the center. So I, I put a little dark at the top where the petal would be coming out from the flower. And then just a little bit under where the petal is curving up and then just a tiny bit down at the bottom and I'm just going to dab that with my finger because it's wanting to streak just a tiny bit because we're coloring on very very glossy paper and sometimes it wants to it wants to streak a little bit so now I'm going to come in again with my light and then with my dark, and since this petal looks like it's like underneath them all, I'm going to bring the darker shade out just a little bit more on that one. Just like so. Okay, so now this one looks like it is curling up too at least that's the way it looks to me it may not be but that's how i'm going to color it and then we're going to come back in with our dark just a little bit there and right here where it curved and then from the center we're going to come back in with our light and just do a little bit of a circular motion. Just like that. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, we missed a spot right here. Fish. Circle that. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Then we're going to come back over here. Color that. I'm going to color this. And come in, and I'm going to, this little spot right here is in the very center of the flower, so I know that it's very dark in there. And this is coming out. This one is in between those curls there. And then we're going to come back in with this. And just circular motion outward, like so. There we go. And then this. And I'm not coloring all the way to the edge, to the tip of some of these petals, just to give it even more definition. I'm going to go ahead and color here because I think that that is shaded by those pillow, pillow, pillows, by those petals. Just like so. Isn't this turning out beautiful? I love the um, Stampin' Blends. They really make it easy to shade and color and I love it because it makes me look like an artist and these are also in the occasions catalog and with the celebration going on with every $50 that you spend before tax and shipping you get to choose a free celebration item which is what this paper is, is one of the celebration items, and, or not paper, DSP, and there are, this year they've decided to do something a little different, and they have two levels, we have two levels, 
one is for $50 in um, purchase and the other one is level two which is for every hundred dollars that you spend that you can get choose um, choose an item in that level as well and they have framelits in that level and one is a stamp set with an embossing folder and it is really sweet deal okay so I went ahead and I colored all of those in the light now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do my shading here I really apologize for all the noise okay there we go now I'm gonna put the caps on these so that they do not dry out and I'm gonna come in with my I think I think I might start with the dark on these I want the dark here and right there and right there and actually I think that that was part of the flower and I just colored it green <laughs> it'll be all right if I just do that okay and then we are gonna come in with our light shade and just kind of smooth this out a little and then I'm gonna color in this with the light shade here okay. now I'm going to do my shading where I think that it's going to have some shading and I think that this probably would be majority majority um majority dark okay All of a sudden, my eyes decided to bug out on me, and I can't see. It's like double vision here. So I hope that that looks all right. I just dropped another cap. Okay. So that is how I got that effect on this. Only I used Bermuda Bay. Oh, we didn't finish the center of this. How silly of me. Okay, so we're going to quickly do the center here. I'm just shading it in with my light shade and then I'm going to come in with my dark and I think it'll be dark here, dark here, dark here, dark here in the creases of the flower around here, around here and there and there right there and it just dawned on me I hope my head was not in this camera okay and we're just gonna blend that in some I think that that looks really good I think I really I want this a little darker. I think I do. I think I want that just a little tiny darker and up around these little the little center center prong things of the flower. Okay so I think we're good with that. Now what I did with the is with this is I came in with this one I came in with the yellow I think I'm gonna come in with the dark color of old olive and just color in the green I think I think I like the way that looks okay 
So now we're going to take this and we're going to pop this up on dimensionals too. And I'm going to use one of the large dimensionals and put it right on the flower. But I want to make sure I put it where it will be on the card. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with some little ones. And I know that there's a spot on here that comes off the card a little bit. And I think it's on the leaf here, down here. So, well, it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> I think it's right there, but I'm not positive. So it comes around like so. And you want to double stack that this one that is on the behind the leaf because that is going to go off of this. And since we put dimensionals on this, it's going to come up higher. So you don't want to just stick one and then it be stuck down like that. Is that proper English? Be stuck down. <laughs> it works for right now. Okay, so I'm going to remove the backing on this. And I'm just going to put it right about there, trying to put it straight. Oh, I got something on there. And then we're going to move, remove the backing on this. I really think this is turning out really pretty in the Daffodil Delight and the Copper as well. I really like that too. And just like that. And there we go. And then in the inside, you could do your Whisper White card sheet like right here. And we could emboss um, the U that's on here. We could just stamp emboss that right there. And, or you could stamp, yeah, you could put U and then happy birthday. And I think that that would be really, really, really pretty. Pretty, pretty card, in fact. Yeah, outside of our little, little smudge right there. It's a beautiful, beautiful card using Hold On to Hope. Okay, so you guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And if you did, please click like down at the bottom and, um, and subscribe. And also, if you see any of these products that you would like to um, purchase. I will try to have the links down below to the to my store. So again, thank you so much for joining me and have a great afternoon. Bye!